Okay, so, shocker, doing a voiceover. I could not for the life of me get my microphone to work today, <laughs> um, but good news. Once I left the gym, I figured it out. I just had to like really shove the cord into my camera, um, which was kind of scary because I didn't want to break it, but it works now. So the next video will have audio and it will be a voiceover and hopefully it will sound halfway decent. So today I was doing back. I had my mindset on doing deadlifts because last week, or it wasn't really last week, it was just a couple days ago, but last back day, I attempted 355 and like almost got it, I would say. It was like above my knees, so it's pretty close. So I really had my heart set on hitting 365 today. Um, I thought that if I put 365 on the bar because it's like 25s on top of the three plates instead of just two tens, I thought maybe I would be like more motivated to pull it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my reasoning behind that. But these are my warm up sets. I didn't record 135 because I was messing with the camera and shit. Um, but I did 135 as a warm up like I always do. And then I did 185, 225, and then I dropped down to one rep with 275, but no belt. Here I'm about to do 315. Um, this is a new belt I got from, it's a Larry Wheels, it's his brand. It's PR, I think is what it's called. It's like a, it's like a really thick belt, but it has a certain shape to it. So it doesn't latch very well yet. I need to like break it in. Ooh, it wasn't like the worst rep. It definitely felt heavy. Um, I think I was so excited to attempt the 365 that I was rushing through my warm up a little bit. Um, you see my butt shot up, shot up a little bit. I think I was just trying to get it off the ground and move through it, um, which I shouldn't have done. I should have taken it seriously, focused on the form and all my cues. Here is my attempt at 365. And nope, it did come off the ground ever so slightly. Um, yeah, it felt heavy as fuck. It felt so much heavier than 355 felt last time. Then I tried to like get in a better headspace and try it again. Like really trying to focus here. You can tell I'm like breathing and trying to get my heart rate down before I do it. And nope. So I tried to focus on pulling the slack out of the bar with 315 just to like get some better, like a better technique. I'm getting to the point where the bar bends like ever so slightly. So there's actually like, you know, a decent amount of slack and I'm not used to that. So I need to learn to pull the slack out really before I pull more. I think it'll help. So I'm gonna try to focus on that in the future. Then I moved on to lat pull downs because this is like my favorite back, whip, back exercise. And I was in a very bad mood, not very bad mood, but I was like pretty uh, let down again. Failing deadlifts two back days in a row is, it's not fun. Um, so I've done to these because I enjoy them and I mean it's a solid fucking back workout. I used to go like really light on these. I guess I'm still doing a lot of reps but I'm not like focusing on doing like the most perfect form. I'm just like moving the weight around and it's been, I've been liking it a lot. I've been getting good back pump. I've been feeling like real fatigued by the end. I mean it makes my back look fucking sick. <laughs> So I think it's working. I'll probably go up in weight on these next time. Honestly, the little lever things at my gym, they're like switches to control the weight. It's not a pin that you put in and it's kind of hard to tell which lever is like which exact weight. So sometimes I'm just guessing and I just kind of pick a random weight, but I'll make a point next time to go up in weight. I don't, I think it goes up by tens. So I think it'll be 120 pounds, um, but yeah, this is 110, so I'll definitely go up from there. I 
had to get that angle. You can definitely see like a difference in my back throughout my cut. Uh, it has leaned out quite a bit. I feel like it's honestly the part where you can see it the most. I don't know if that's just because I have the most muscle there or if that's where my body loses fat. <laughs> um, but I feel like there's been a, like a significant difference there. I'm kind of new to this machine, or I guess it's a machine. This is my second time doing it, I think. I'm not sure which handles I like more. Like, I don't know if I like using the handles I'm using here and having my elbows closer to my body or if I like using the ones that are like above and having my elbows more out. I guess it just hits a different part of your back, but I think I used the other handles last time and then switched it up. So I'm not really sure, but I'm sure I'll, I'll figure it out as I do it more. It's a, almost always taken at the gym, so I don't use it very often, but it's pretty solid. I like the chest support. Although sometimes I feel like it makes it so I like can't breathe. And then I'm just really winded after. <laughs> I know I said that I was gonna go back to like a push-pull leg split, but I honestly was just beat from the deadlifts. And then I went really hard on those lap pulldowns, especially with the, the super set. So we called it at this. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a designated arm day after I work in like two days because it's kind of an easy thing to do after a long shift. But yeah, I will get 365 eventually.